Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Joyce, just in case you're new here. And I give people tips on how they can come to Canada. And lately we have been talking about how people can come to visit uh, Canada. And um, we agreed that I'm going to come back with uh, different sites or different tourist attractions within Canada where you can, you know, you can apply to come and visit as a tourist because we agreed that you actually don't need an invitation from uh, anybody who is living in Canada. Uh, you just need to look for a destination attraction for a, you know, for a tourist at attraction uh, in Canada, and then you go ahead and, and uh, apply to come and visit that particular place. So some of the places that you can, or some of the reasons that you can say, you can um, say that you want to come and visit is generally coming as a tourist and we are going to look at that today. Uh, we agreed that you can also come as a team, as a group. Uh, you can come in case you're students, you can come for exchange programs with Canadian students, even teachers. I said that there's a school that I know back home where I come from, they always come yearly just to interact with the students in Canada. So you can do something like that. Uh, you can also, uh, you, can, you can organize, you can organize within your workplaces uh, just to come and even bring your work, your colleagues to come and interact with other people of the same, um, you know, of, of, of the same uh, work that uh, you do in here in Canada. So there are so many reasons that you, you would want to come and visit. Uh, definitely, you can also come and visit your, um, your, your relatives in case you have got relatives or friends in Canada. You can just request them that uh, they can send you an invitation in case somebody gets a child, in case somebody is graduating, uh, in case somebody is uh, doing a wedding, in case there's a burial. Uh, whatever function it is there, you can always ask your relatives or your friends to send you an invitation. Uh, we also said about church conferences. Those ones, you just need to search them on Google and search for church conferences, and then you can come and attend. Uh, you can look for conferences that are uh, related to your work, uh, to your, you know, to your work, and then you apply. Most of the times they are going to ask you for those conferences, they are going to ask you to pay maybe a hundred dollars to get a ticket so that you book for ticket. And then once you book, even for the church conferences, most of the time they are going to ask you to, to buy a ticket. And then after that, that is just to, pre, to, that is just to reserve, to reserve a, a, a seat for yourself. And uh, we agreed that you're also going to book for a hotel and book for a ticket. You don't have to pay, but you can just prepare an itinerary. So uh, today I'm going to take you through tourist destinations in Canada. I did a research and I found out that the most visited places are not so many, but they're around 20, but I'll try and give you a few of them. And uh, and then you will you'll choose one of them and say, I want to go and visit this place. If it's related to your work, if it's not related to your work, just say that I want to go on vacation. I, I said that in case you're coming uh, with your kids, you need to, to book for vacation when the kids are on holiday. So the first place, as you can see here, is the CN Tower. CN Tower is in Toronto. Most of you must have heard about CN Tower. It looks like this. This is CN Tower. It's a very beautiful place. Uh, it's, a, it's a landmark in Toronto. Actually, it's a, it's a tourist attraction that you can say that you want to come and visit. And uh, it's, a, it's like a tall, tall, tall uh, building with a, which, is, which has got a, a glass floor. That is what I think attracts most people. And uh, she has got a network, and they are, they are like um, um, it's it's located at 351 meters in the revolving 360 restaurant, very famous. Uh, 
360 is open for lunch, dinner, and visitors who dine here also receive complimentary access to the lookout and glass floor levels of the tower. So that is what attracts people to come and, and see the CN Tower. The second one is the Royal Ontario Museum. This one, I've been there, and it's actually a very beautiful place. Very beautiful. They have got uh, so many archives. So uh, the Royal Ontario Muse Museum, uh, known as uh, ROM, is one of the Canada's premier museums with an international reputation for excellence. It houses an outstanding collection which covers natural history, art, culture from a great variety of periods all over the world. It is also well known for featuring exhibitions from across the globe. So you can research, what you would do is that you, you can research when, when they're having these conferences at the, at the museum because they happen yearly. I know last year it didn't happen because of COVID, but you can just search whether it's happening this year or next year, and then you can apply to come and bring your family. The other one is uh, Ripley's uh, Aquarium of Canada. This one is, is another very beautiful place. Oh my goodness. This is where I found the school in Kikuyu, where I come from Kenya. And, and when, I went, when I had taken my kids to this aquarium, in Toronto, I met uh, some students who had come from Kenya. <laughs> we were so excited. I mean, it, it was such a good time just to, you know, just when you're going around and you hear people who are talking Kiswahili, kids who are talking Kiswahili, I felt so good. So it's a beautiful place. Uh, it's near, it's actually near the CN Tower. So you can come and visit both places at the same time. The most impre impressive feature is the huge underwater tunnel with a moving sidewalk. Yeah, so they have got um, the fish, very big ones, and uh, some, some sea creatures that are underneath, and then they have put some glass, so you are walking on that glass, and the, and the sea creatures are, you know, underneath that glass. And you can, you can see them. I mean, for the kids, by the way, it's very, very interesting. You can, um, you can say that I want to go and see this, this, uh, this aquarium. It's very unique. It's a tourist attraction. And the other one is the Art Gallery of Ontario. I've never been to this place, uh, probably because I'm not an art person. But they say that it's, the, it's one of the largest museums in North America. The collection of more than 95,000 pieces includes works from around the world, from European masterpieces to contemporary art, but also holds an impressive collection of Canadian art, including a vast collection of works by the Group of Seven. Mm, a series of uh, temporary exhibitions are mounted throughout the year. So you can check. It's actually in Toronto. The address is right here. So sometimes you can even call them and find out if they have got any events for, you know, international events. And then day trip uh, to Niagara. Niagara Falls have been there. It's such a beautiful, beautiful place. I wish you can come to Niagara Falls during Christmas because it's a falls. This Niagara Falls is between um, Ontario and, and New York in the U.S. So it's, it's at the border. They share these Niagara Falls. But it's a very beautiful place. And then the falls, they have they have set like a, like the rainbow reflection on the falls, on the water. And at night it looks so good, especially over I went there over Christmas and it's a beautiful place. Niagara Falls. If you are a if you are a nurse, you can apply to come and visit Niagara Falls and tell them that I'm also interested to. Uh, to just see, because I, you understand that there's, a, there's an, a, a school for nurses that is called Niagara College, where people, where the nurses come to study uh, uh, specialized courses like palliative, geriatrics. So if you're a nurse, you can apply to come and visit Niagara Falls. Then when you come to visit, you can check the programs that are there at Niagara Falls. 
Yeah, people know it as INSCO College, but INSCO College is not, uh, INSCO College is just the agency that helps you to join Niagara College. So that is the Falls, Niagara Falls. And then there's, uh, there's, the, there's the Entertainment District, the Royal Alexandra Theatre. I've never been to this theatre, but you can actually apply to come and visit. Yeah, so... It's actually in it's it's actually in uh, Toronto. It's it's in Toronto town. Remember, Toronto is the biggest town in Ontario, so you can apply to come and visit. You can come as a tourist to see that. Then uh, Toronto has also got uh, a zoo for the animals. Of course, it's nothing to compare with what we have back home in Kenya. <laughs> Safaris, no, you can't compare. But they have tried. It's a good place. I've been there. Uh, it has got an outstanding and diverse collection with uh, a, a, approximately 5,000 animals. Some of the favorites include hippos, lions, tigers, giraffes, uh, penguins, and many more. The zoo is divided into several sections, each representing a major uh, region of the globe. So... It's also in Toronto, and the address is right here. <laughs> Casaloma, I've never been to Casaloma, but they're saying here it's an extraordinary building. Uh -huh. It's like a castle. It's an old castle. It was built in 1914. So you'd like to bring your kids to come and see uh, this tourist attraction. Okay. So uh, is in Toronto and the address is right here. Okay. Then uh, St. Lawrence uh, Market. Have I ever been to this place? Yeah, I think I ever. I went once, but that time I was very new in Canada. So <laughs> I don't think I was seeing anything. You know, when you're very new in a place, you don't even remember what you saw. But yes, it is there. You can also say that you want to come and visit uh, City Hall. City Hall and Nathan Phillips Square. City Hall is a beautiful place. Uh, outside City Hall, there is this, this, um, this uh, decoration of the rainbow. And there is a man-made lake within town around City Hall. So, And that is what they have used to decorate this uh, this word here, Toronto. It's a beautiful place also. You can come and visit. Yeah. There is usually a lot of skating in uh, during winter. So winter here starts in October, November. So in case you come in December, you can tell them you want to bring your kids for skating. Because remember where we come from, especially those who are watching me from Africa, there is no winter. There is no snow in Africa. So you can actually tell them that you want your kids. The best time actually to bring your kids is during winter. So that you tell them you want your kids to come and experience winter. Yeah. So otherwise, if you come during summer, <laughs> I mean, you may not convince them that uh, because whatever is here in summer, most of them, you're going to find them in Africa. So... Eaton Center, it's within Toronto Town. It's a building where there's a lot of shopping. So in case you in case you come as a visitor, you need to visit this place and, and just see, shop around and see what happens in, in the central business district. So it has got its own subway station. <laughs> they have said here that strangers can quick, easily lose their way in the maze department stores, the boutiques, the restaurants, cafeterias, and snack bars that crowd the different levels above and below ground. I've been there. I've been to this place. <laughs> but it's not so busy. So the Young Dada Square... 
they have not shown us a picture here but it's also a place you, you can come and visit then stroll through Ken Kensington Market. It looks like Maasai Market back home. <laughs> yeah, whereas all the culture, uh, all the you know, most of the immigrants they they take their culture there. You as you can also find Maasai 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 uh, like the ch the chondos. I don't know how the baskets, the sandals, the bangles. You can find them there from different communities. People go to display their culture there. It's, it's in actually, it's in Toronto. You're going to have a multicultural feeling. Uh-huh, so that's also another place that you can say, say you want to come and visit. Then there's international, Toronto International Film Festi Festival. So you can apply to come for this International Film Festival. There's a lot of entertainment. You can just check when they have when they are giving tickets. You can just check when they, have, they are giving tickets, and then you can buy in time, so that you say you're coming for the festivals. Yeah, the the website is right here. In case you want to communicate to them, you can actually send them an email. Yeah. This one is a distillery district. It's, a, it's also a historic area in Toronto. It's called Toronto Christmas Market. <laughs> I've never been there. I don't even know what happens. But you can just apply and tell them you want to come and see what happens there. It's also Aga Khan Museum in uh, Canada. Aga Khan. Oh, Aga Khan is all over the world. Because back home there is Aga Khan schools, Aga Khan universities, Aga Khan uh, hospitals. I actually worked at Aga Khan Hospital at some time in my practice, in my nursing practice. I used to work at Aga Khan, Nairobi. So Aga Khan is also here, but the, the, the years here is a museum. They don't have a hospital here. Remember, hospitals in Canada, they all belong to the government. So this one is a museum. It was built in the 1950s. Ah, what? Wow. Okay. <laughs> They are saying it's one of the best institutions devoted to Islamic arts in North America. It is housed in spectacular, light-filled modern building with beautiful, beautiful surroundings consisting of large reflecting pools. I've never been to this particular museum. So, and then there is the high park. See how beautiful it is. Yeah, you can also say you want to come and visit this place. It's a high park zoo. Yeah. <laughs> Annually, the Canadian stage company puts on a performance at the open air theater in the park during the months of July and August, known as Shakespeare in High Park. So this one is also international. You can you can check their tickets. I'm sure right now they are issuing their tickets in case they are, it's Canada is going to be open by that time. So they always issue tickets or sell tickets yearly, and they are for international. So Toronto Islands. I've been into those islands, by the way. So you can also come to visit these islands. Okay. They're nice places. You're going to do sailing, swimming, and other outdoor activities. Okay, in favorable weather, there is a stunning view of the Toronto skyline. And there, the, the website is right there in their contacts. And there's Ontario Science Tense Center. Most of these places they have their websites. And then you can always send them an email and ask them for an invitation or ask them how you can pay uh, for a ticket to come and uh, visit them. And once you pay for the ticket, they just send you an invitation. Okay. And the address is right here. Then Hockey Hall of Fame. Hockey is very famous in Canada. Um, soccer is also upcoming. My kids go to play soccer. You can also look for those festivals, those events. 
they are called Olympics. There is always an Olympics in Toronto for soccer. So you can organize a group of young boys and bring them for, you can book for, uh, you know, uh, for those Olymp to attend those Olympics for, mo mostly they're for the youths, for the youths. This one is for hockey in downtown Toronto. I think all most all all these ones are for Ontario. You can check in other provinces what they have, but I just wanted to show you how you can check for tourist destinations. Graffiti, ally. Hmm? <laughs> the tourists tourists love coming here, posing, painted doorways and windows, and taking selfies day and night. That's what they are saying. People like taking selfies here day and night. It's a tourist attraction. It's a it's a graffiti ally runs parallel to Queen Street and Richmond Street. Okay. Rogers Center. I've never been there. Oh, it's adjacent to CN Tower. And I don't know. It's a sports arena and home to the Toronto Blue Jays. MLB. The unique design includes a retractable roof which slides back, allowing it to, o to be open in favorable weather. Okay. So those are places that you can apply, you want to come and visit. Of course, that is, those are just examples. There are so many places and not even places. You can even tell them you're coming to, to just enjoy the snow because you have never had snow in your home country. And just tell them you're coming to enjoy the snow, to show your kids the snow. There are so many reasons you can tell them you're coming to visit Canada. And we say that in case they have you have gone to other countries as a tourist, then they'll, they'll definitely see that you have been visiting. By the way, if you have a visa for U.S., if you have a visitor's visa for U.S., it's very rare to be denied a visa for Canada. So I always advise people, before you apply a visitor's visa to come to Canada, try for U.S. Try to, to get the visitor's visa for U.S. Once your passport has been stamped by the U.S. visa, uh, with the U.S. visa, you can, you can be almost sure that they are going to grant you a visa. I don't know why they consider that a lot. U.S., a lot. Most most people who have got U.S. visas, they always get Canadian visas to come and visit. <laughs> okay. Then here they have said places where to stay in Toronto for sightseeing. You can look for hotels that are near nice places. So the type of the Sheraton Center, Toronto Hotel, Hilton. Uh, even Hilton Hotel is here in Toronto. Delta Hotels. One King West Hotel. Yeah. These are five stars. But you can actually look for other cheaper hotels depending on your affordability. So look for places to come and visit. That is it. <laughs> that is it. That is how you look for places to visit. And then you can send them emails and ask them for how you can pay for tickets to come and visit. Just try your luck. You never know. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much. There's, there's some news about um, reopening of the borders. I'm going to come back tomorrow with that video, and I'm going to explain to you how they are going to open the borders. At least now they have released some news. They were quiet before, but now things are happening very positively. So see you tomorrow in the next video. Thank you so much. In case you have not subscribed, kindly remember to subscribe and God bless you. Bye-bye.